morning everyone you know what i've got gadgets and gadgets of plenty i've got who's it's and what's it's galore been selling on ebay for 20 years or more anyways i am the silver owl thrifter here on youtube had a little bit of disney songs in my head and that verse just came to me i was just felt inspired Oh, great day. We're having a good time today. And let me tell you what I sold. Um, I sold $194 gross. Let's break it down and see how much is actually profit. After fees, shipping, and cost of goods are taken out. So I'll give you a number. I'll say this sold for 20. That includes everything. Fees, shipping, and everything. Okay, and then I'm going to talk about a few things, uh, some sell-through rate, and uh, so on. Okay, I sold this. Oh, man, it's dropping everything. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well today. I have a little video of Mr. Darcy and Bingley the Cats watching their favorite show, and Chelsea the Dog at the end, so stick around. This is an embroidered, isn't that beautiful? Flora woman's hand-stitched Mexican Puebla dress, medium, question mark, because it didn't have a size on it. So I just did the measurements, boho blue. And it's just, I just saw it and I just said, that somebody's gonna like that. And sure enough, these have a good sell-through rate. I've had it up for maybe four weeks and it sold for $33 and I made $21 on this. I got this very cheap, if I recall. A dollar. I paid a dollar for that. I like that. All right, I sold this. Don't do a lot of pots and pans anymore, and I'll tell you why. This is a copper bottom vintage Revere Ware 1801 fry pan, 10 and a half inch copper brass handle saute skillet and I sold this for $45 and made $15 on it uh, the shipping on this is going to be quite a lot I did calculated shipping and um, I paid $8 for it so paid up for it I think at a yard sale uh, it didn't get as much as I thought it was going to get and uh, so I don't know they're they they I, I can't do them anymore they take a, up a lot of space heavy to ship don't sell that great. I think there's a, I think a lot of people got into them. Uh, just checking to see if my thing is on. Yes. And um, so anyways, but I mean, $15 isn't bad. I made, paid eight, made 15. Um, I don't think I'll do them much anymore. I sold this. Here's another thing that is really iffy kind of, but I don't know. This is a kind of a rustic four by six, 12 gauge designs, barn wood, rustic picture frame. So for $17, that's everything. I made $6 on this. I paid $2. Now, if I had paid like $5 for this, I wouldn't have made, it wouldn't have really been worth it. I mean, it's hardly worth it at six, but it's worth it. But they, they take a while. You gotta have the right person. I sold, oh, this is what dropped, hold on. Okay, hips, let's, all right, good job. Okay, I don't know. Oh, my hips, man, I just got back from physical therapy and that feels really good afterwards. I feel so good, but man, it's brutal while you're doing it sometimes. Gotta do it. Hopefully the hip replacement I'm gonna have next year will help. Probably need a double hip replacement. I'm gonna do my left one first because it's the worst. I really didn't want to do it, but it's just nothing. It's time. Okay, I sold this vintage composition and cloth because it's made out of some cloth there, and this is the composition part. Uh, cloth baby doll, 11 inch estate find pink gingham outfit. Now, sometimes you can find information on the neck and there actually is some information on the neck that I don't think I put I think it just yeah it says bisque 
like, I should have put this in here. It's Bisque Doll, 1964. I don't know why I didn't put that in there. I could have probably got more money for it. Just trying to see if I put the a picture of it in there. All right, well, my, my computer, let's see. Sorry. Okay. I, I'm losing you. I know. This is ridiculous. Okay. Forget it. We're going to go back and just say, yeah, be careful. There's stuff, usually information on the back of the neck. And I sold this for $18 and made $8 on this. I probably paid less than a dollar for this. I don't know dolls well. I don't like to do dolls. I'm not a big doll person. They're kind of freaky and creepy sometimes. <laughs> so... I kind of stay away from them, but this one looked like it was, well, I think I see a kitty cat back there somewhere. Uh, this one was um, well-priced and it looked like it was worth a few dollars. So I made uh, $8 on that, that's fine. Okay. This was a good one. I got it for a couple of dollars. It's a men's J. Peterman Company. The J. Peterman Company. You might have heard them. That's where Elaine worked on uh, Seinfeld. <laughs> and it has these nice patches here. Oh, I got some cat hair on here. I'm going to be lint rolling today. Um, sold for $37. And I only paid a dollar. So I made $22 on this. Kind of heavy. J. Peterman, zip front, elbow patch, 100% cotton sweater, medium blue, cotton lining. Oh, this has the nicest, nicest soft cotton lining, even up. You know what I really hate when you put your hand, arm in like a coat or jacket and it's that kind of nylon-y stuff that just makes you feel hot, but this is cotton. Very nice. J. Peterman. Very expensive new. So, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. okay. Kind of a holiday blazer here, I think. Be nice at a Christmas party. It's a uh, context petite. I did not even put that in the title. I just, I just put women's black velvet style rayon silk blend lined jacket size 6P. And it sold in a couple of months. I must have... Sometimes the brand is almost a deterrent or it adds nothing to it. I've never done that before. I, that was maybe a mistake on my part that I haven't even added. I mean, I'm sure I had it all. Uh, photos of the brand and everything, but... Uh, that's just an example of how the brand is not that important on, in a lot of instances. It's the style. Nice black velvet jacket like that. Wear to a Christmas party or New Year's party or something like that. Okay, what do we got here? That, that, done, done. So one more thing I wanted to talk about was the bra I sold. Okay, Calia. Carrie Underwood, go all out, high support sports bra, 36D, and then I have the number, WAX17202. So I go back there, I grab this one, it says Calia 36D, I grab it, DD, and luckily I look at that number that I had written there, WAX1722, it's not the one. It's this other Calia. See, this is what happens when you, this is the one. With the number looks about the same well it doesn't really look the same but in the photos it looked the same so um what happens is you know when you have several thousand items you you grab the same kinds of things again and again and you know like you have a lot of talbots a lot of certain styles and i happen to have two of the same brand of bra in the same size it was probably from the same yard sale or something and somebody gained or lost weight and needed to get rid of their bras so they put them all out there so that's why that, that's where I make mistakes and you maybe you're like 
well, Laurie, you've been doing this so long. How can you make mistakes and grab the wrong thing? Well, I haven't always had over 2,000 listings. You know, when I started out, I just had a couple of things. And this is something I'm realizing now. I have to be super, super careful that it can be like almost the exact same item, but it's the wrong item. Uh, and then I'm going to sit down here. Oh, those hips. I wanted to talk about bras more, sell through rate. I, while I was here, I thought, well, let me look up what the sell-through rate for bras is, and it's very good. Um, it's about, and especially for larger sizes, like 40D or 40 double D or even 36 double D or something, the larger the size, uh, well, 40D looked like it was a really good size, and Victoria's Secret looks like a very good brand, Vanity Fair, Kachik, but overall, um, like 40D, Victoria's Secrets has a 150% sell-through rate. Victoria's Secret is quite expensive, so um, th that one I think is one of the, that one, Kachik and Vanity Fair all looked like they were the strongest. Probably uh, Victoria's Secret is the strongest. And yeah, so it's like 50% sell-through rate uh, on average, and then some of them quite a bit more. Um, lots of, like a lot, like three, four, five bras in a lot seem to sell for good money. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. If you can get like a whole bunch of bras for a dollar at a yard sale and they're all the same size, somebody might be looking for a lot of that. And then you can just do one listing really quick and move them on out. They don't get tons of money, but they're good. Uh, some of them do. Some of the Victoria's Secrets ones do. So, all right, uh, yeah, let me finish up here and not forget. Oh yeah, because today is special. So I made 194 gross for a total of $43,895 this year. And net, I made 22,000, broke another 1,084. So I gotta do my little dance. And hopefully I will, um, I, I, I hope I break 24000 this year. That would be not net. And I'm already up. Oh, look who's here. Hello. It's Mr. Darcy. Hey, Darth. What's doing? What you doing? All right. We got to go. All right. So we're doing good. All the sales are quite a bit down from last month, like 50% down. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I have been running sales. I don't know what else I can do. Um, so we just keep plugging along and uh, keeping listing. And I'm trying to list five items a day and I'm making some videos on that. Hello, hello, sweetheart. What? All right, have a great day.